Hey there, this is Brett with another G.I. Joe, a real American hero comic book review of issue number seven. What you see before you is a second printing of G.I. Joe number seven. Uh, as you can see here, it says second printing. For a while there in the 90s and stuff, you had to really look hard to see the second printing, third printing, and etc. of comic books. They didn't do a very good job of that. But anyway, second printings were usually this type of uh, black Spider Man, and usually somewhere up in here it said 75 cents, and it was a square. Um, symbol or stuff like that. Um, if you look at the uh, G.I. Joe number six, my last video, uh, you'll see the difference in that. But in this issue, uh, G.I. Joe and October Guard get a uh, get captured by Cobra and they get. Um, put in front of a firing squad, and as you lo and behold, they escape. Once again, if you look, uh, um, I think it was issue three, or maybe four. Um, once again, chewing bubblegum and talking. I just never, I just one of my pet peeves with this. G.I. Joe, and they only send two. I would think that um, Cobra Commander would learn by now not to trust G.I. Joe. Two people with, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people, eleven people, two people, going to gun them down. So, anyhow... Like I said in the last video, uh, you don't see a lot of October Guard. Um, I believe this is the only time that you see Scarlet getting um, um, mouthy back to Stalker as far as orders go. Um... See a little bit of political um, innuendo with her, uh, with what she's saying. You can give him a hand. I don't wallow with pigs. You'll never see that again in a comic book um, with Scarlet. Um, so this is definitely different. If you read the, like from issue 20... All the way up to 155. You'll never hear her talk like that again. Which I think is so great. Um, well anyways you see. Um, them going up against. Uh, going across the Iranian border. You see them going. With. Uh, trying to get into the base. Stuff like that. Let's see here. More advertisements, which you don't see nowadays. Um, you also see... The booby traps. Cobra Commander is always like one step behind... A step ahead, but yet failing miserably. Um, you know, it's like a maze of death, but yet they keep getting out of it. Keep getting out of it. But... In the end, you got snakes, you got grenades, um, this is how, um, wearing a loudspeaker, I mean, pretty dated, and 
This is another thing you will not see in a G.I. Joe comic book. Take us with you. Shove off, sister. This bus is full. They would have stayed behind and helped um, the October Guard. You can see the Russians are bad, we are good, and we're going to leave you behind. That's not what you see in G.I. Joe nowadays. Um, and then you get to see the uh, political uh, ruse that they were using the military for, G.I. Joe for. The team was just a decoy. That's all it was. So... But anyways, you'll never see this again either. The uh, look on their faces of dissent, anger towards um, Brass, and you will never see Brass tell them they, that you were a decoy. So, once again, you got the letters, which is awesome. And that's it. So, anyhow... If you're a G.I. Joe collector of the extra figures, you have, I believe you need to get the uh, comic books. But that's just my opinion. So, anyways, once again, this is a second printing. This is what the cover looks like. So, that's it for now. Until next time, take it easy. Stay out of trouble. Bye.